As a swordsman using the unique three-sword style, Zoro pays close attention to the quality of his swords. That's why he only uses quality swords that have seen their fair share of deadly combat. One of the swords he owned and used frequently until the wall and arc is the Shushui. Shushui is one of the most sought-after katanas in the world. After all, it is not only one of the 21 great swords, but also one of the rare black blade swords. That said, what makes Shushui so famous are the exploits of its previous owner, the legendary samurai Ryuma. Unfortunately, not many people know who Ryuma really is. We therefore take this opportunity to talk about the life of the legendary samurai and original user of the great Shushui, Shimotsuki Ryuma. The birth of a samurai centuries before the current One Piece story, a boy named Shimotsuki Ryuma was born in Ringo, the northernmost province of Wano country. This boy's parentage is never mentioned in the story, but since he calls himself Shimotsuki, at least we know that he was a member of the Shimotsuki clan, a long line of daimyo from Ringo. This means that Ryuma was actually a noble. Unlike other parts of the country, Ringo is covered in snow most of the year. This is probably one of the reasons why the people of Ringo are some of the toughest people in Wano. Being a warrior was pretty much a way of life for them. In fact, there is a tradition at Ringo that every child gets a katana. They will use this katana all their life, and when they die the same katana will be used as a tomb. The Rise of Legend Young Yuma's life was portrayed in one of One Piece creator Ichiro Oda's first shirt stories, titled Monsters, which is part of a shirt story collection called Wanted. Based on his appearance, Ryuma is probably in his late teens or early twenties in the story. Young Ryuma decided to leave Wano and venture out into the world. At this point, Ryuma was still using a regular katana, meaning he would encounter Shushui later in his travels. He was always ready to help those in need. He even cut off a huge dragon's neck all at once to save a small town from his onslaught. Thus, the news of his power as a swordsman slowly but surely spread to different parts of the world. It wasn't long before the people he saved began calling him the Great Sword King. However, since the man himself didn't really care about fame, he didn't even realize that people regarded him as one of the strongest swordsmen in the world. Years later, Ryuma finally returned to his homeland, the land of Wano, with the great Chushui in hand. These were said to be particularly dire times for Wano. Many foreign invaders constantly attacked Wano with the intention of occupying the country. And again, the one who rose to the occasion and dared to fight against these invaders, and gathered the people of Wano to protect the land together was none other than Shimotsuki Ryuma. Legends even said that Ryuma managed to slay a dragon flying over the capital with his beloved Shisu. His brave act earned him the title of Hero of Wano and Blade God. Unfortunately, Ryuma was unable to enjoy a long life. He died of an unknown illness at the age of 47. His body was buried in the shrine erected in the North Cemetery of Ringo, his hometown. And just like the other citizens of Ringo, his graveyard was marked by his beloved sword, Shushui. As a tribute to the mighty hero and savior of Wano, Ryuma and his sword were awarded the title National Treasure of Wano. Life after death, there is a tradition unique to Ringo called the Eternal Grave. Due to the cold temperature, the bodies of those buried at Ringo will be completely frozen. This means that even though centuries have passed, the bodies buried at Ringo will still be relatively intact. Because of this, around 23 years before the current One Piece storyline, the pirate Gekko Moria stole Yuma's corpse with his sword Shushui. He wanted to fill the ranks of his crew with zombies made from the bodies of famous heroes and warriors. In order to bring Ryuma's corpse back to life, Moria stole Brook's shadow and placed it inside Ryuma's body. The new Ryuma is clearly not as strong as the real one. After all, he was just a zombie who could only use Brook's sword techniques. That being said, Ryuma's body and sword strength can still take Brook's technique to a whole new level. During the thriller Bark Arc, Zoro gets the chance to engage in a deadly battle against the zombie Ryuma. Zoro takes over and wins the duel. As a sign of respect from one sword's man to another, he gave Zoro his beloved sword, Shushui. From then on, Zoro always uses Shushui during his fights, until Hayuri asks her to bring Shushui Wano back to the land of Wark. After all, it is still Wano's national treasure. Zoro agreed and received another legendary sword from Hayuri in return namely Enma, 
one of the swords used by his beloved father Kazuki Odin. Although Yuma's body was cremated at Thriller Bark, thanks to this, his sword finally returns to its rightful place. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and support my channel.